blue skies in San Francisco. Yeah, it was a good place to avoid some of the heat mm -hmm. we had in the valley. San Francisco, sunny, 70s, but a different story inland as expected. We had upper 90s too. About 105 degrees today in Fairfield. The good news is we're about to see some cooling changes coming our way as early as tomorrow for the Bayside communities and for all areas by Tuesday. Right now, 86 degrees in San Jose. We did see 90s earlier around downtown and still well into the 90s. Livermore, 98 degrees. Wind picking up southwest or west southwest at 16 miles per hour. And San Rafael, still pretty hot. 95 degrees there, southwest wind at 8. But as we showed you, blue skies. San Francisco is still hanging on to 71 degrees. So the summer microclimates full effect here on the coast, inner bay, 60s, 70s, and 80s. But it's those inland temperatures, which average upper 80s this time of year, vaulted way up there, upper 90s to above 100 degrees. And the proof here, not just the wind direction, those breezes are picking up. It's the fact that we really don't have any low clouds with that wind. Marine air has been compressed down, so this is a case with the winds. It's like the fan is spinning, but the coolant isn't loaded in that ocean AC system. Now that's going to change by Tuesday. The marine air is going to deepen up and those winds will pick up and that will lead to big cooling changes by Tuesday. Tomorrow morning, 50s and 60s should begin to see more coastal fog and low clouds during the day and through the afternoon. Inland East Bay tomorrow, still upper 90s possible out towards Solano County, maybe around the Tri-Valley too, but notice the North Bay. South winds starting to take the edge off the heat there, 80s and 90s, back to upper 60s in San Francisco, 70s in Oakland, mid 80s in San Jose. Now, the return of that ocean air conditioning, we're going to get the coolant back, the low clouds going back up to 2,000 feet. Look how far inland the low clouds now move for Tuesday, and with that, now Tuesday's highs inland, 70s and low 80s. So we're going to trend cooler through the middle part of the week. As you see there at those highs, 70s to mid 80s inland, that will likely hold through Thursday. But what about those muggy conditions? We have to turn our attention down here off the coast of Baja, California. Tropical Storm Eugene will weaken over the next two to three days. But the mid-level moisture from that storm is likely to move into central and southern California. Right now, it doesn't look like we're going to see showers maybe as far north as the Bay Area. But for areas here along the central coast down into Southern California, there is potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms for the second half of the week. Something we'll be watching with those increasing tropical clouds around Wednesday. But there's a closer look at the cool down. Coastal areas and bayside locations cooling off a little bit tomorrow. And for the valleys, big drop in those temperatures come Tuesday. Then stay tuned with the muggy conditions rolling in for the uh, second half of the week. And oh yeah, next weekend, 90s coming back. Another weekend warm up mm -hmm. on the way. Muggy too next weekend? Uh, maybe not as much. It'll start to dry out and warm up a little bit, but right. uh, stay tuned All right. this week. Thanks, Rob.